What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I'm sorry I haven't made a video in quite a long time. Um, I didn't recap any games at all last week and I apologize for that. I'll get right back on that. Don't worry. Starting Thursday night, um, I'll start recapping again. Uh, by the way, go ahead and follow my gaming channel. Ch um, the link is in the description below. Call of Duty coming up, Madden, got all of that coming out. So um, you guys go ahead and watch that. Assassin's Creed possibly in the near future as well. So uh, go ahead and follow my gaming channel. Uh, we move on to our stats from last week. I went 9-5 and five straight up. I forgot to switch my pick from uh, Texans to Colts. Uh, I mean, yeah, from Texans to Colts because uh, Deshaun Watson is now out for the year. And I guarantee you Deshaun Watson was going to put up over 30 on the Colts. So, um, I mean, I and, and they were seconds away. Tom Savage was seconds away from winning that game against the Indianapolis Colts. It, they had like seven seconds or something like that. They couldn't get it done, and it sucks. I mean, they, they could have won that game anyway, and my pick would have been right, but um, whatever. I lost that. So I could have been 10-4, and four, but 9-5, and five, I will take it. I am 82-51 and 51 overall. That's a... Um, 0.616 average, which is 62%. So I'm getting up there a little bit. Uh, this week against the spread, I went 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. That brings me to a 65-63-4 and four against the spread record. Um, and my sports fan entertainment rank is 60th in uh, sports fan entertainment pick'em league. So Thursday Night Football to start off the Seahawks at the Cardinals. Uh, I this may be a close game, maybe a boring game. We don't see it being a very good game. The Cardinals aren't the team they were a couple years ago, and the Seahawks definitely aren't the team they were a couple weeks ago, losing to the Washington Redskins at home. Um, so this may not be an entertaining game like most of the most of these games are between these two teams. But uh, I expect Seattle to get the win here. Drew Stanton is now leading the Arizona Cardinals and. Um, you know, I don't think he's going to do too much against the Seattle defense. And on top of that, they, I mean, Adrian Peterson is really running the rock for, uh, Arizona. I think he had like 159, uh, yards, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, somewhere around that range. He had a lot of yards, but it was on a lot of carries. The guy ran the ball 37 times. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that balances out, but I don't see the Cardinals winning this game. I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks 23 to 13. Takes Seattle minus six. The Giants at the 49ers. This is the toilet bowl game of the year. The worst game of the year. Two of the worst teams in the NFL right now playing against each other. I think the Browns could beat both of these teams. But um, I'm going to take the Giants here. It's not like it doesn't matter if we win or not. I don't care if we win or not. Um, I'm sure the 49ers don't care if they win or not. But it is what it is. I got the Giants winning this game 20 to 17. Take the Giants minus two and a half. The Saints at the Bills. Don't call it an upset, but this may be one. I have the Saints winning their sixth straight, but um or their seventh straight. What is it? I think they're about to go seven and two or six and two. One of those. It's week ten. It's week ten right now, right? So um yeah, so I think they're gonna win their seventh straight because I think they already had their bye and seven plus two is nine. So yeah, I think they're going for their seventh straight win here. This is going to be tough for them uh, with the the Buffalo Bills. Their defense is really good this year, but and let's not you know forget the fact that Kelvin Benjamin, who was just traded to the Buffalo Bills, knows how to face the New Orleans Saints, so he may be a factor in this game. Uh, so we'll see if the Bills can pull this one out and try to upset. The New Orleans Saints, who are riding high right now, and the Buffalo Bills also trying to get their own playoff spot. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But I got the Saints winning this game 27-20. to 20. Take the Saints minus 3. Um, the Packers at the Bears. You know, the Packers don't have don't have Aaron Rodgers. They're stuck with Brett Hundley. Brett Hundley is yet to throw a touchdown pass in the NFL. He threw two touchdowns. I mean, he ran for two touchdowns. Uh, still doesn't have a passing touchdown, I don't believe. And I don't think, uh, you're, you're just not going to, I mean, this should say the bad GM work that goes on with the uh, Green Bay Packers right now. I mean, they're a 2-14 and 14 team without them. They don't have a good defense. Their offense can, can't do anything without them. They have some decent receivers, yes. They have a decent offensive line. Uh, they have a makeshift run game. I, I mean, these late round draft picks and these wide receiver turns to running backs. 
Uh, they, they, they find a way to make do with that. But their defense doesn't look good. Their secondary is easily one of the worst in the league. But, you know, with Aaron Rodgers on that team, you know, he, he, he's able to keep the offense on the field. And the defense doesn't look as bad as it is. But, I mean, look, you look at the games without Aaron Rodgers, they really can't do anything without him. So, um, you know, that plays off the offense and the defense. So, um, I'm going to take the Bears to win this game. They find a way to win games, so I expect them to do it here. 17 to 13. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers, though, to cover the five and a half point spread that Chicago was favored by. Uh, the Browns at the Lions. I'm going to take the, the Browns to cover the spread, the uh, 12 point spread. I think it's a little too high. I don't think Detroit, in any way, shape, or form, are world beaters right now. I don't think they're going to blow out any teams. So um, I, I have them, uh, I had the Cleveland Browns covering the spread. But I'm going to take the Lions to win this game 27-17. to 17. The Steelers at the Colts. If Andrew Luck was playing this game and a, and a good Ben Roethlisberger, you know, every time these two teams play each other, it's always a good game to watch. Um, but that's not the case this year. Both these teams, I mean, the Steelers are all right. They're, they're doing better, but they still have they had their moments. Uh, and the, the Colts are, aren't good at all. So I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers here to win the game. But, believe it or not, I'm going to take Indianapolis to cover the 10-point spread. I'm going to take the Steelers 27-14, to 14, or 23-14, to 14, sorry. Um, and Indianapolis plus 10. We move on to the Chargers at the Jaguars. The Jaguars are riding high right now. And the Chargers, you know, they look good for, for a little bit, a little bit uh, this year. But I think they're going to start to slow down. Um, I don't think they really belong in the playoffs. I don't think they're... They're going to be a team to make another uh, a playoff run. So I'm going to take the Jaguars to win this game. Who are I looking? I don't even know how much how much wins they uh, how much wins they end up with. But it's de they're definitely exceeding expectations this year. Their defense looks great. Their offense is is putting up points even with Blake Bortles there. So we'll see what happens. I got the Jaguars winning 31 to 20. Take Jacksonville minus three and a half. The Jets at the Buccaneers. I'm going to take the Jets to win this game. Um, I just like the Jets right now. Oh, well, I don't like the Jets right now, but I like the Jets over the Buccaneers, where the Buccaneers really can't do anything. You know, you got Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's facing his former team in the New York Jets, the 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 one team that he was probably the best at, uh, the best in you know he, when he was playing with the uh, the New York Jets. That's probably his best football being played over there. So. Um, you know, he's going back against his former team and looking for a little revenge, I guess, for not paying him his money, but he, he really screwed up his, uh, his opportunity in his last year there in New York. Uh, Mike Evans is going to be out, so that's a big loss for the Buccaneers, so they're going to find a, have to find a way to make do with OJ Howard, Cameron Bray, Chris Godwin, Deshaun Jackson, um, good weapons there, but on top of that, the Buccaneers struggle to run the ball, so... Uh, we'll see how they get that going. The Buccaneers defense isn't all that good. So, I mean, it's really not looking good for the Buccaneers at this point. Uh, on top of that, I mean, there are they are playing at home, but the Buccaneers aren't really a team to, to have home field advantage. You look back in their history, uh, you know, from, from this year on to na uh, last year, I mean, home field advantage isn't, re isn't really a strong point for them. So, uh, I'm going to take... The Jets to win this game, 23-16. to Take the Jets, minus 2.5. The Bengals at the Titans. I think this is going to be a close game, a closer game than people think. I think the Titans are slowing down this year. I still like the Titans a lot, and I, I still think they have one of the best rosters in the NFL. But I think they're starting to slow down. They're going to start beating teams, but they're going to be they're going to beat teams very closely. I don't think they're going to blow out any teams right now. And see, in Cincinnati, I know they laid an egg last week, um, but I think they're going to come back here and play tough against the uh, Tennessee Titans. And I got them covering the spread, uh, the four and a half point spread. But I have Tennessee winning the game, twenty three to twenty. Take Cincinnati plus four and a half. The Vikings at the Redskins is going to be a defense. A defensive game for the the Vikings. Um, I don't know how it is, but the Washington Redskins sometimes like they they find a way to make plays uh, with their defense, and and their defense really doesn't look good. You look at what they did uh, to Seattle. I know Seattle have has had their own offensive problems, but they find a way to shut down teams. Like they beat the Oakland Raiders twenty seven to ten, and 
you know, you have to give that to them. If you if you let allow any team, even the Cleveland Browns, to allow you know less than ten points or ten points, uh, that's a success. So, um, as far as you know, the the Washington Redskins defense, it's finding a way to make plays. Uh, but the Vikings defense is completely legit. So. Um, this may be a defensive type game, or it could be an offensive type game. We've seen both of these teams on offense really, you know, put up points. So even with Case Keenum out there, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think it's going to be a slower type game. Twenty to ten is what I predict. Minnesota minus one. And moving on to the Texans at the Rams. This could have been the highest scoring game in NFL history. Who knows uh, if Deshaun Watson was playing this game? This could have been the highest scoring game in NFL history. Um, but uh, the Rams are looking good right now. They've completely demolished my Giants, and you know they're demolishing every team so far right now, and they're putting up points on every team. Um, so, and the Texans defense doesn't look really good. Uh, you know they're missing out on Whitney Merciless. They're missing out on JJ Watt. Um, so they're not getting as much pressure, and it's allowing you know this the pass defense. You know they're not able to cover for that long without the, without the uh, the front seven getting to the quarterback. So. They're going to struggle. I think the Rams are going to put up points again on this Texans defense. I'm going to take the Rams to win 34-10. to 10. I'm going to take the Rams minus 12. It's a big spread, but I'll take it anyway. Minus 12. The Cowboys out the Falcons. How are the Falcons favored in this game? They're favored by three points. I don't understand that. Um, and I'll probably have to look back at that because I don't believe what I, what I just wrote down, but I think the Atlanta Falcons are favored in this game. I don't understand that whatsoever. The Falcons, uh, suck this year. Sorry to say it, but they suck. The Cowboys looking good right now. They just beat one of the best teams in the NFL right now to the Kansas City Chiefs. Their first meaningful win this year. Uh, do I think they're going to go too far with it? I think they should slow down a little bit because the Steelers beat them as well. Steelers beat the Chiefs as well. They don't really look like they're a powerhouse. Neither does the Oakland Raiders right now. So, um, you know, that's a great win for the Dallas Cowboys. But I still think they're going to win the, against the Falcons. But I think we should slow down on the uh, Super, Bowl talk, uh, Super Bowl talk with the Cowboys. But I got the Cowboys 30-23. to Dallas plus 3. The Patriots at the Broncos. I'm going to take the Patriots here. The Broncos, you know, they're having their quarterback troubles. Trevor Simeon just... Nobody wants to play him right now. Brock Osweiler it seems like he's going to start another game after completely sucking against the Philadelphia Eagles. And the um, and then Paxton Lynch is still hurt. I believe he's starting to throw the ball now, but I don't, think they, I don't think they're going to throw him out there right now. I think they know their playoff hopes are pretty much done. So I don't think they're going to risk throwing their so-called future quarterback out there with a, with a messed up shoulder. So... Um, I, I'm going to take the Patriots to win in Sunday Night Football, 33-19. to 19, Take New England, minus 7.5. Monday Night Football, this is the third straight primetime game for the Miami Dolphins. Why, schedule makers, why did you have the Miami Dolphins? Even with Ryan Tannehill healthy, why would you have the Dolphins in three primetime games? We don't want to see that much Dolphins. So, um, you know, they're starting to get better. That's that's understandable, but, I mean, we should just slow it down a little bit. Uh, too much of everything is unhealthy. So, um, too much of anything, rather, is unhealthy. So, um, we go to the Panthers at the, uh, no, the Panthers versus the Dolphins. And, you know, the Panthers look like a better team right now. They're starting to get back on track after not looking good this year. And they really, they still don't really look good to me. They beat the Falcons. Um, you know, if Julio Jones doesn't drop that touchdown pass, I mean, we could have been talking about the Falcons winning that game. And, um, you know, they faced the, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the week before that, and they didn't look good. They got the win, but they didn't look good in that game either. So, um, you know, the Dolphins could come out with this win, but I'm going to give it to the Panthers here to, I believe, get their seventh win this year. I believe so. So, I mean, they're finding a way to win games. To me, they're not all that good, but they're finding a way to win games. I think they find a way to win against the Dolphins here. 27 to 21. I'll take Miami plus 9. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to my gaming channel. Link is in the, in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.